Now to Renee Henry with the latest on the teen joyriders. And Renee, the driver in yesterday's chase was the same driver high on paint in a suburban chase just six months ago. That's right, Bill. Police say it's the second time this year the 18-year-old has got behind the wheel of stolen cars, speeding across the southeast in epic joyrides and endangering lives. His family didn't have much to say outside court today, but the police union did, condemning the decisions of the courts and demanding harsher penalties. It's the kind of behaviour that makes police blood boil. But what it does show is those people who are repeat offenders who continually evade police, the maximum penalty should be imposed each and every time. In a stolen ute and with a 16-year-old passenger, the 18-year-old is accused of evading police on a four-hour joyride from Brisbane to Gatton, reaching speeds of 160 kilometres an hour, sideswiping cars, running red lights, even attempting a pit stop for fuel before running out of luck on the Warrigo Highway. Is he sorry for, for what he's done? No, 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 Let's get lost. Shockingly, the Riverview man did the same thing in April. With six others and high on paint, he sped through more than a dozen suburbs in a stolen BMW. Once caught, Task Force Perpetual pounced, charging him with a string of robbery offences as well. But the courts released him, disqualifying his licence and allowing him to serve an intensive correctional order in the community. If you run from the police in incidents like that, you should go to jail, straight to jail. That's what the community expect. If you're evading police, we've just uh, addressed that issue. Uh, so uh, it's a mandatory fine now of $5,000. In court today, lawyer Steve Higgins said the jobless father-to-be had learned his lesson, but Magistrate Deborah Vasta disagreed. It's one of the worst cases of dangerous driving I've come across. She said the risk to the public was too great and denied him bail. Now, the 18-year-old is also facing a string of new break-in and stealing offences relating to incidents over recent months. At the same time, Gold Coast Police are hunting a gang who uh, held women at uh, tomahawk with tomahawks, knives and uh, scissors, terrorised women. Two of the men were caught on camera trying to work out how to open the fuel cap on the stolen car. The young men had been on a bag-snatching spree. Every other time, they'd had... Their their faces covered. Uh, the males were wearing a balaclava and had their faces covered with a, a bandana in the earlier offences. Now police are hoping that video will help identify the offenders. All right, thank you, Renee Henry.